pui. Eu que pui. My little, my little dog, Charlie, she was a rescued little dog. Tiny, about 10 inches. Um, we tried to find out who she belonged to, but nobody claimed her. So we ended up with her. She looked like she'd been out for a week or so, and I don't think she could have lasted much longer out, out in the, the weather it was. was. So um, we took her in and we looked after her. But then we discovered she had lots of things wrong with her. She had something wrong with her colon and um, her back legs her knees. And she had to have special food. And um, we just wondered what we'd taken on. So um, we just loved her and she seemed to attach herself to me. So in one respect, she became my little baby, if you like. Although I know she was a dog, but she became my little baby, as I called her. And um, she followed me everywhere. I took her everywhere. She was really, I suppose, my whole life, this little dog. I loved her so much, it was, the thought of losing it was just traumatic. But of course, I know things don't last forever and you can't live forever. But the thought of, you know, her dying, if you like, just devastated me. I just hoped that when her time comes, she would just like I suppose so many other people do think she would just fall asleep and not wake up again, just go peaceful. But unfortunately, it didn't work out like that. And when her time came, we knew she, her time had come because she lost the use of her back legs. And we had to make, the, I had to make the decision, which obviously I did, that she had to be put to sleep. Her last, her last night alive wasn't very nice because it was the time last year when we had all that very, very hot weather. It was one of the hottest nights of the year. And obviously she, she couldn't get around, she couldn't move, you know, um, walk with her back legs. And um, it was just horrendous for her. We had to try and keep her cool. And then in the morning, we, um, she had her breakfast. We took her to her breakfast. Um, we put her in a little, a little uh, nest, a little, place she used to sleep and laid her in there and let this little dog 
try and say goodbye to her, but obviously he didn't know what was going on. But we tried to put him next to her, you know, like it was our last morning. And uh, we sat just here in silence until it was ready, my husband and I, until it was ready for her to go to the vet. We just sat with her on her lap. We just sat just, just saying nothing because I was so devastated. I, I just couldn't talk. The day before, I had taken her over the park and walked around with her in my arms to say, you know, this is the last time, Charlie, you will you'll see the park. But she couldn't see the park, obviously, because she'd gone blind. But I think she felt the sun on her and the air. And I brought her back. And then when it was time in the, the next morning, we went to the vets. And our vet, Mrs. Suzanne Baxter from the Part Veterinary Group said, don't come into the vets, I'll come out to the car. Which she did come out to the car. And I sat in the car with little Charlie on my lap. And she did what she had to do and put it to sleep. And she died on my lap. But it was so awful, I... I just... I think about it every day and every night. I cry, in fact. When I go to bed, I cry. Because I miss her so much. She was so part of my life for nearly 10 years. But she was older than that. I think she was probably around about 14. But we'd had for nearly 10 years. And she'd been part of my life for 10 years. And it was hard not to come home, when I came home, to walk in the front door, to not have two dogs greet me. And coming back here was awful. We took her to the, the cemetery, the pet cemetery, some at least. And they were very kind, sympathetic, understanding. And, uh, we took her into the little chapel there, in her basket, and said our last goodbyes to her. But I really didn't want to go. I didn't want to leave her there, because I'd never left her on her own before. And I didn't want to go from the cemetery. I know it might sound a bit silly to some people, but I just didn't want to go from the cemetery and leave her there. But I knew I had to. I think that was the hardest thing, was leaving her there and not bringing her back home. 